What's up guys, Mario here. In today's how-to video, we're gonna be talking about using a relay to amplify the current of a remote turn-on wire. So looking at my truck here, um, I have four amplifiers. Now, uh, normally how I had it in the past was, let me show you guys was piggybacking a remote wire from the head unit to the amplifier and then from there piggybacking it to each amplifier and what would happen was it would cause uh, a remote turn off pop or turn on pop and it just didn't look professional and our goal here today is to add that relay to clean up the wiring and properly manage the remote turn on current all right so how we're going to use the relay is if you have the relay in hand you're going to flip it upside down and you're going to see numbers on it so the 30 which is the top one um if you have the same kit as i do uh which is going to be the red wire it's gonna be the 12 volt power source slash the fuse box somewhere. Pin number 86, which is the one to the right, slash the white wire. Uh, that's gonna be the input, which is a remote from the radio, which is that one, that location over there. Number 87, which is the flat one, which is gonna be our output, aka the blue wire. You're gonna uh, wire that one to the main post on the distribution block which if you have the distribution block it's gonna be this post right here and number 85 to the left of the relay is gonna be the ground wire so that's all it really is it's gonna amplify our remote turn on signal making it easier to power up your system all right, let's draw it out just to be sure. So we're gonna take a power source and connect that to number 30, like so. Um, number 85, we're just gonna ground that somewhere to the chassis, like that. Uh, let's see. The output, we're going to wire that to the main post of the distribution block. Like so. This is gray. It's going to represent the white. Uh, that's the input wire from the remote. So we're going to take that one. Drag it all the way over here. To the input. Which is number 86. Now from there, you're gonna have power, of course, to the distribution block when your radio turns on. So you're gonna take each remote wire and wire it to a location on the distribution block. Like so. That's a general layout. Um, if you have more than three amps, you can, you know, you're gonna have more posts on the distribution block but that's the general layout of how to wire relay all right so i got the relay wired in like i did in the diagram so now let's do a overview of what i did so looking back over here um the black wire is going to the ground so what i did was i ran it to the back of behind this trim piece into the frame with the self-tapping screw and the i-ring uh, the white wire that you see that's the wire that goes to the remote so what I did was I snaked it underneath the carpet and behind that little trim piece up to the radio the blue wire which is the uh, output slash uh, the one that goes to the fuse block which is the main, con main point of the fuse block which is right there it's hard to tell um, right there 
right there. That's the main uh, power source for the fuse block. Uh, so I snaked underneath the carpet as well. And the red wire, I snaked underneath here, down the uh, door sill, up to the fuse panel over here. Now if you see the cover, you'll see this little random fuse block. That's because I have power door locks on a manual truck. So I'll do a video on that later. But I put it into that little uh, point right there. Um, from there, you can uh, distribute each wire, remote wire, from the block to each amplifier, like I did. Uh, hide them neatly however you want, instead of jumping them, you know, two in each uh, input of the amplifier. So you can neatly hide the wires however you want. This is the best spot I've found. Um, there's a lot of spots you can do. Each person's going to be different but that was just my certain application so now let's turn the radio on you'll see that the radio turns on but the amplifiers do not you'll hear a click listen you hear that click and all the amplifiers will turn on then when you turn it off you'll hear that click that turns them off again so that's about it. So it lets us know that we wired it correctly. So yeah guys, uh, take a screenshot of this diagram. Hopefully it's helpful to somebody. Um, that's about it.